So yeah, how I'm at data join in this video, I'll be going to show you uh, some really cool and really important stuff. Because if you're updating your iOS to uh, the like 10.10.3, I don't know, but I recently updated my iOS, I mean, student, and I had this problem. Yeah, so recovery update, this will update your Safari browser and then iTunes always. So yeah, in the update of Safari, the customized toolbar. Oh shit! So toolbar is gone. You can't see it because yeah, you see all all of this. You can search, you can like, browse, and all that thing. But yes, yeah, so let's clear about that. Just click on the right click on the blank space here. You see the blank space here? Just right click on that and then click on customize toolbar. And after doing that, if you want to add some new keys or buttons like this on items, like this, you can drop here always. But if you want the default Safari toolbar, you just drag it in. That's it. And just Click on done. Yeah. And after that, you have to just you you will not see here the toolbar after clicking done. So I have tried it again. So you might see something different. But yeah, click on the command and Q and just close all the things. After closing, just open that. You will see boom. You will see here it's a working toolbar. So. Thank you for watching this video and of course stay awesome and yes sorry about that the Mac the editor lost channel but I'll be posting the videos on this channel. I don't know how the hell my videos are going for copyright claim. So sorry about that and yes thank you for watching this video and of course God bless you.